from an organisation known as Dark Justice. Hi. Right. I'm going to ask you to remain here. I'm going to ask you to remain calm with no hostilities or violence. Yes, you didn't know. But you got told to, didn't you? I didn't believe it. Please. You didn't believe it? No. So, how did you know she was going to be here? If you didn't believe that, how did you believe everything else? Huh? You know what I mean? Doesn't make sense, does it? No. You can have your cigarette if you want to. No, no, nothing stopping you having your tab. So, do you think it's acceptable what you've done, sir? No. No. I mean, do you regret yes. sending the pictures that you sent and the video that you sent? And you're married, aren't you, sir? I was. You was married. No, but when she when she told you within like literally the first five minutes of talking, you knew because she turned around and told you. I didn't know. Calm only fifteen. There's a there's the first message I sent her. There's no mistake in there. Yeah, because it wasn't a real girl you were talking to. It was my colleague here, Callum, and we're from an organisation known as Dark Justice. Just our organisation goes online to catch people who come to meet children following sexual grooming. Yeah. Well, we hope you understand that, sir. And police are on the way. You haven't talked to anyone that you actually phone line? No. No. Stupid. You feel stupid? Oh, it is stupid, but you did. Both. Both. I mean, you're the 61st person that we've got doing this now. And that's 6 1. I mean, you can you can keep saying it if you want, sir, but between me and you. I'm not saying it. Me, between me and you, though, yeah? I'm not saying it. You knew she was 15 straight away, sir. As soon as you were told she was 15, that for you should have been the point of ending that conversation, sir, but you didn't, did you? You carried it on, sir, and you wanted to meet straight away, you were eager to meet, sir. Stupid you weren't asked man. to meet, were you? It was all on your half. You brought it up, sir. You sent pictures That's of your penis. Uh, how you. fast you wanted to meet someone. There's a reason behind that, sir. Have you got any pornographic DVDs on yourself? I've got one, but um, that's in this jacket from my brothers anyway. It's in your jacket? Yes. But you've already said in the chat lodge you'll bring it with you. I mean, like, no one walks around with porno in the pocket all the time. And this one's in the still need to put the girl's always. Well, it doesn't matter, it's, 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 it's pornographic material that you brought intending to allow a 15 year old to watch. Doesn't matter how you look at it, it is what it is, sir. No one keeps a porno in the jacket all the time. But you don't, do you? I mean, I'm a man, 25. My colleague's age, 21. Aye, you know, we don't walk around with pornos on us. Don't think anyone does. I don't think there's any man along here besides you, sir, who's walking around who always has a porno in the jacket just in case. You want, do you not think you want to add on to it? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, this is evidence. It's going to the police. Nothing. That's fine, so you don't have to send it to me.